Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to use two elements, which one is called barium and the second one is copper, to explain to you what is an um, electrochemical cell like. First and foremost, let's draw two beakers. Okay, that is two beakers, right and simple. And now we're going to draw two electrodes. One is going to be anthos, and the second one is going to be cathodes. It's very depend what element you chose. And so today is uh, Ba and coppers, so barium and coppers. Let's find them, then find the positions on the periodic tables. So Ba is, uh, let's find Brie first. Ba is actually here. You know, like Ba2 plus and putting two electrons, adding two electrons, it called BA solids. Let's write it down. Oh, it's hard to see. You may notice that I did not write any arrow because um, I do it for purpose because we don't know um, what way it's going to be. And remember, we need some space for another element. Okay, so um, what is another one? It's going to be copper. Yes, you know, many copper is that. Today we're going to choose is copper 2 plus is that one. Copper 2 plus part 2 electron equal copper solids. And let's write down. This copper have a higher position than uh, barium, so we write copper above. I mean, above uh, barium. Okay. Sure. Um, we know only thing, only reaction that we're going to happen is going to be strong to strong reactions. Then we have to notice that barium is in here and copper is in here. In order for barium and copper to react, and we know uh, copper two plus have to be the reactants, and barium plus I mean barium solid have to be also be the reactants, strong to strong to re strong to strong to have um to let the reactions happen spontaneously well copper 2 plus we know we're going to circle them copper 2 plus and uh, bariums two barium solids we're going to circle them then we know our arrow is going to be that side okay um, another thing we need to notice that if copper 2 plus is going to be um, going to be a uh, Reduce so the reduction is happening in here. Reduction is happening in the copper two plus, and it's barium solid. It's going to be barium two plus, which means um, the oxidation is going to happen. When we know reductions, when we know reduction and oxidation, what we know that reductions actually is another is actually for the metal is called cathodes. And for oxidation, it's called anvil. That piece of metal, um, we, you know, you could call it electrode. And we can go into put B8 uh, bariums in here and connect them with a piece of lines. And in between, we're going to put a meters. Um, you can put a light bulb or don't put anything. It's fine because that will not affect our result. So now we need to connect them with another um, Electrodes. Another electrode we're going to put um, is copper, copper solid bar, in copper solid bar, and yeah. So Ba we said, and Ba as we talk about B, Ba is going to be anthos right there. Ba is going to be anthos, and and copper is actually is going to be um, cathodes. So anthos is which mean um, is reduction. Endo reductions, uh, endo oxidation. Oh, geez, 
pentyl is oxidation, sorry. And cathode is going to be reduction. In other words, um, oxidation is going to be donating electrons, which so give out electron. So the electron be, uh, bariums have going to be two electrons going to this way, going to antho to cathode. So the electrons the directions for electron of electron is going to this way. And yeah, so the electron is going to this way, and copper in here is going to receive this. Um, this cathode is going to receive these electrons. Um, we, today we say this, this solution is actually going to be um, BaNO3. Because NO3, Ba is 2 plus, NO3 is minus, so we have to put a 2 in here. And copper SO4. Copper SO4. Copper is 2 plus, SO4 is 2 minus, so they are fine. Um, yeah, so, and if the reaction like that is... It's going to happen in two scenarios. One, it's happening too fast, and second, it's not even have a chance to occur. Then, we have to embed a what's called saw bridge in between them. So this makes sure the solution is inundate the saw bridge that allow them to pass, allow the element to pass. Okay, um, so BA, when the electron going to donate, we will create A, what's called BA2+, and this BA2+, is going to this way. BA2+, um, BA2+, is going to create, and so, as you know, right? BA2 plus is going to create by BA solids. So we can write down in here. This is a half reactions of BA. It's going to be BA2 plus and going to be total two electron. Okay, so this two electron is going to this way and the electron we receive by this cathodes. Cathode, when the cathode is ready to receive, um, this Cu and SO4 separate them. We break it down first. Cu now the Cu is going to become um, um, Cu two plus Cu two plus and this SO four um, two minus is right there. Um, Cu two plus when the electron come here, you know different charge we uh, we attract to each other, which mean the Cu two plus we accelerate to the surface area of copper, try to pick up electron and form solid copper. So as times pass too, uh, you may notice that the copper bar will become bigger and bigger because you know that like the copper those saying is actually the copper solid. Okay. In the anode side beakers, barium solids are going to produce barium two plus and two electron. So as time pass too, uh, anodes will be shrink. And um, eventually, we did so in this um, solution into the solutions. Um, what else I need to say? It. Oh yes, uh, as time passes too, if the if this without the saw bridge, what is going to happen? It's going to happen like um, because more electron going to this way, this one become more negative. I write better. This way become more negative, and this way become more positive without a saw bridge. Because like you know, electron go through and become only left is a more positive charge. And now um, we have saw bridge. Thank you for saw bridge. S O four two minus is going to pass through the saw bridge to reach here to, into the um, antho part. Why? Because S O four two minus is um um n ion. N ion is going to the anthos ant ion. It's going to anthos trying to neutralize them trying to neutralize them and um, yeah anion you know anion is minus and this one become too positive so they try to neutralize them okay and um ba2 plus barium 2 plus we just produce that we're going to this side because this side have a negative charge so um ba2 plus is a uh, cation it's a cation is going to cathode, cathodes. We're going to cathodes, and 
we can write down our half re reaction in also in here. Um, cathode half reaction is will be um, copper two plus and plus two electron because they pick up two electron and become copper solids. When it become copper solids, this is half reaction. This also half reaction. Now we can write down our um, lead ionic equations, which is combine them first. Two electron, two electron, we're going to cancel each other. So only we left is copper two plus plus B A solids, and going to react with copper solids and plus B A two plus. And B A is going to um the cathode side because it's um uh, cations. And you know, NO3 is going to be NO3 minus. NO3 minus will stay here. You know, white because you know, is this create a more positive field? So more positive uh, will attract SO4 two minus. We also attract NO3 minus. Both anion are going to help and neutralize the endo. And that is actually how you're going to um going to explain um. Um, electrochemical cells. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, let's end this video by using some real-like applications about electrochemical cells, shall we? Okay. A sample about like electrochemical cell in our real life. There is some um, first is the electrolytic cell, which is also called lithium-ion cell and they are rechargeable battery examples are laptops phones and also calculator and those things they are all embedded with this electrolytic cell and what other example is galvanic cell which is some uh, related to disposable disposable batteries such as the lithium battery we also call it uh, AAA or double A and in China we call them cell and not M5 yeah it's a type of disposable battery which can only be used for one time the battery is set so in the TV remote such as and uh, your the mouse and the torch lines those are all of all of them are actually um, embedded with lithium's battery. Okay, how instruction? You know, now doing this coronavirus pandemic ventilator, uh, those things apply using the, I guess, um, electrolytic cell. You know, this um, this kind of this machine here. Oh, okay, an artificial pacemaker, and th this uh, maybe is used lithium, lithium, lithium battery. Yeah, could be. And this used for trigger habits to um, making artificial uh, pumping to your, I mean, trigger the pumping of your ventricle. In the insulin pump, yeah, it's maybe to control insulin. Okay, a military assistant in forest goggles, which is light visions, and some fingerprint pistol, uh, and some drones, and those things are very. I have an intimate relationship with battery so you know now everything we are using even those this mouse we are using that is battery the inside is battery we need battery but battery is so dangerous so be careful uh, how to pick them and be careful what to use and uh, yeah and subscribe thank you for watching